Let's visit Chihirin region. Chihirin National Historical and Cultural Reserve was founded here. We promise you that you will never forget the tour around Chihirin. Many pages of our remarkable nation history are reflected on the land of Chihirin. The city has monuments from different periods of its history, but most of them are related to the Cossack history and the formation of Ukrainian statehood. Chihirin is the first capital of Ukraine at the era of Hetman Bohdan Khmelnytsky. The reserve presents numerous historical places of the Cossack era and the Heidemark movement as well as outstanding natural sites, including a famous thousand-year-old oak of Maxim Zelizniak in Holodny Yar. Monuments of national significance include Zamkova Hora, the ancient settlement of Chornoliska culture, St. Elijah's Church of the 17th century, a burial vault of Bogdan Khmelnytsky. The Museum of Bodan Khmelnytsky is the first place to visit in Chihirin. The museum complex is a real architectural dominant of Chihirin, which is located at the foot of Castle Hill. There are near 2,000 exhibits of the museum collection. It includes the unique archaeological collection of things of the 17th century, the Cossacks' weapons and equipment of the 17th-18th century, numismatics of the 17th century, and the works of the Ukrainian art about the Cossacks. The museum has a large collection of decorative and applied art objects of that time – pots, jugs, bowls, mugs, stove tiles from the castle of Bogdan Khmelnytsky in the village of Subotiv. Castle Hill is a real natural fortification, the center of Chihirin life. During different periods of time it was known as Upper or Small Town, Horodova, Polska, Kamyana, Kamenolomna and Bohdanova Hora. It looks like a hot shoe and covers a large area of about 100 hectares. The absolute height of the mountain is 140 meters, the relative height above the edge of the Tasmin River is 70 meters. Castle Hill is a part of an ancient mountain system that stretched along the right bank Ukraine and reached a height of 2-3 thousand meters. It consists of hard crystalline rocks such as quartzites and sandstones. The remains of the fortress wall and fortifications that were discovered during excavations are still preserved here. The Chihirin fortress, which was located here, became one of the most formidable and impregnable castles on the territory of Ukraine during the time of Bogdan Khmelnytsky. All that remained was Doroshenko's bastion. Castle Hill offers wonderful views of Tasman River, which seems to envelop the mountain. In the middle of the 17th century, the Ukrainian Cossack state Hetmanate appeared as a result of the National Liberation War of Ukrainians against the Polish domination under the leadership of Bogdan Khmelnytsky. As a military administrative and political center of the newly created state, Chihirin became the capital of Ukraine. During 1648-1676, Chihirin was the place of residence for such well-known Ukrainian hetmans as Bogdan Khmelnytsky, Ivan Vehovsky, Yuri Khmelnytsky, Pablo Teteria, Petro Doroshenko. 
Since Chihirin became the capital of the new state, the Chihirin private residence of Khmelnytsky family became the official residence of Hetman as the head of the state. The ancient Hetman's residence was located not in the castle that crowned the stone mountain, but on the territory of the city, under the mountain and under the protection of this castle. Khmelnytsky's castle is the estate of the Khmelnytsky family. The north, east and west sides of the building were surrounded by natural barriers such as forest, ravine and swamp. The south least protected side was additionally reinforced with a moat and two-layer wall ramparts. The upper rampart was fenced with a stockade. The castle's defensive structures included three wooden towers and one stone tower. The remains of stone tower can still be seen in the protective pavilion at the northern part of the castle. At the entrance to Subotiv, there is a majestic structure of the middle of the 17th century St. Elijah's Church, which is still open today. This temple was built by order and at the expense of Bogdan Khmelnytsky. Church had ancestral tomb of the Hetman while it was a part of the defense system of the local castle. Subotiv is the estate of the Khmelnytsky family. Once it was a Hutir Farm. The first written record of it dates to the beginning of the 17th century. The Hutter was owned by a minor nobleman, Cossack centurion, Mikhail Khmelnytsky. During the time of Bogdan Khmelnytsky, it became the country residence of Hetman. The Subotiv Historical Museum tells about the incredible life of the great commander and his Cossack army. There are many interesting exhibits here, including weapons and clothing of the 17th century. Mm-hmm. 
Three Wells is an interesting stop for tourists. According to the legend, these three wells were sunk in the middle of the 17th century by order of Bogdan Khmelnytsky for horse watering. The wagons filled with wounded soldiers slowly moved towards Subotiv. Wounded Cossacks exhausted by the heat stopped in the valley near the springs. They say that a military hospital was also located here. According to the legend, three horsemen once galloped to the village. All of them held seriously wounded comrades in their arms. By order of the hetman, they were left with a healer who cured them with healing groundwater-infused herbs. After recovering, as a sign of gratitude, each Cossack dug a well on the site of healing springs. This is the way how the region name Three Wells appeared. It is considered that the three wells are supplied with water from three different sources. The water is healing, it has different tastes. However, it is proved that these three wells are actually fed by the same source. Ethnographic complex Kozatsky Hutir is an open-air museum which belongs to Chekharian National Historical and Cultural Reserve. In the 18th century, there was a Hutir Zimivnik of Kozak the Chosa. The family of the Kozak that lived on the Hutir was engaged in agriculture. The idea to create the complex originated in the early 90s of the 20th century. It was founded to recreate the characteristics of the Middle Dnipro region traditional rural settlement. The Church of St. Nicholas, manor houses of a local priest and a village chief, a tavern, windmill and other rural buildings were recreated on the Hutir. The territory of the complex attracts with its beauty. Here you can see picturesque hills, meadows and three ponds where you can admire the nature and even go fishing. The ponds are full of fish such as carps, crucian carps, silver carps and perches. In the 19th century, there were two churches on the territory of St. Onufri Monastery, including the wooden three altar church of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary and the stone Onufri Church. The Church of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary, built in 1758, was destroyed in the 20th century. Only the three altar Onufri Church is well preserved until now. The temple is distinguished by its original architecture, reflecting the stylistic features of that period. St. Onofri Monastery got into the maelstrom of various historical events, such as Kolyivshina and Holodnoyarsk Republic. Obviously, it was historically significant in those years. That's why there is a legend about the St. Onofri Monastery underground tunnel connecting it with the Matroninsk Monastery. Not far from the village of Holovkivka, Chiharian region, there is a protected area with a system of ponds and alleys called Atamansky Park. A healing spring Jivun is located here. Its medicinal properties have been known for a long time. Cossacks and Hydamaks also appreciated this water treating wounds with it. The power of the underground source varies within half a liter per minute. Its slightly alkaline, slightly mineral water with traces of radon is close to the famous mineral water Neftusia, 
According to a legend recording in the village of Holovkivka, in the summertime, when the weather was hot, the holy apostle Andrew, the first called, and his disciples walked through Holodny Yar. When they were thirsty, the apostle struck the ground with his staff, making cool water flow out. So that's the story of creation of Zhivun Spring. In addition, the spring never freezes. Archaeological research have proved that the first human settlements appeared in Holodny Yar 20-30,000 years ago. The late Paleolithic, Neolithic, Bronze Age, Scythian period, Chernyakiv culture and early Slav settlements have been found in this region. One of the most outstanding archaeological sites of this territory is the Matroninsky ancient settlement of Scythian times. The Holodny Yard tract is now a relict forest area of more than 7,000 hectares, which is of great historical and environmental significance. The historical significance is related to events that took place during the National Liberation War of Ukrainians against the Polish domination under the leadership of Bohdan Khmelnytsky during the Kaliivshina and the Holodnoyarsk Republic. Holodny Yar also fascinates with its picturesque nature. Soft, fertile soils were produced here as a result of mountain erosion. They are cut by deep ravines, where there is still snow even in summer. According to folklore retellings, that's why the largest ravine and the rest of area was called Holodny. That is cold. More than 160 springs and small rivers flow in the bottom of deep ravines. The underground water of Holodny Yar is not only delicious, but also a healing one. The flora of Holodny Yar includes 216 species, namely 124 types of trees, 15 types of shrubs and bushes, and 77 types of herbaceous plants. Here you can find many plants that have been preserved since the pre-glacial period. Most of them are listed in the Red Book of Ukraine. In the forests of Holodny Yar there are large meadows covered with continuous thickets of periwinkle. There is no more forest in Ukraine like this. The fauna of Holodny Yar is rich and diverse. There are about 80 species of waterfowl, forest and steppe birds. The Matroninsky Monastery and the thousand-year-old oak of Maxim Zelizniak are located in Holodny Yar. The Holy Trinity Matroninsky Monastery is located in the heart of Holodny Yar. Why is it called Matroninsky? The answer is hidden in the ancient legend. Matroninsky Monastery was founded before the Mongol invasion. At that time there was a fortress of Miroslav, the beloved Voivod Yaroslav the Wise. In 1036, returning after the defeat of the Pechenegs, Miroslav decided to check the security of the fortress. His boats took up battle positions. Deciding that the boats were hostile, the Voivode's wife Matrona ordered to attack them. Miroslav was killed. After Matrona had realized the terrible mistake, she became a nun. She founded a monastery which became known as Matroninsky.
The oak of Maxim Zalizniak is one of the oldest trees in Ukraine as well as one of the ten largest in Europe. This unique ancient oak tree is named after the legendary leader of Haidemarks Maxim Zalizniak at the time of Kolyivshina rebellion. The tree is about 1100 years old. Its height is 30 meters, the trunk diameter at a height of about a meter is more than 9 meters. The Haidemarks gathered under this tree planning their attacks on the estates of Polish noblemen and magnates. According to the legend, the oak tree has a magical power. Having rest on the oak, every traveler will gain enough strength to achieve whatever he wants. The Kaminka State Historical and Cultural Reserve includes the Museum of Alexander Serhievich Pushkin and Petro Ilyich Tchaikovsky, the Historical Museum, the Art Gallery, the Decembrists Park, where monuments to Pushkin and the Decembrists are located, the Tasminsky Canyon, the Pushkin Rock, the Pushkin Grotto and the Green Mill. The Greenhouse is one of the oldest sites of Kaminka. It was built in the early 19th century by the order of owners of the town, the Davidov family. In Pushkin's time, in the first half of the 19th century, this outbuilding served as a recreation and resting place. The house preserved the memory of Decembrist meetings. At the meetings, Pushkin's voice was heard. The Historical Museum of the Kamienka State Historical and Cultural Reserve is located in the Stewart's House. It is one of the houses of the former Davidov family estate, which is an architectural monument of the middle 19th century. The world-famous composer Petro Ilyichekovsky, who used to visit Kamienka for 28 years, lived in this house as a guest of his sister Alexandra Ilyevna Davidova.